My name is David Michael Mathis. I'm a DO and I'm an addiction psychiatrist. I uh, graduated from the University of Mississippi uh, with a bachelor's degree in pharmacy and I actually think that pharmacy degree is really molded the way I've practiced medicine in my career uh, because they really taught us very well principles about pharmacology, importance of safely prescribing medications, and trying to prevent harming patients with medications. Um, so I believe that education really has been very important. So uh, fortunately, the United States Navy paid for my medical education, and I then served four years in the United States Navy to repay back that debt to the government. Uh, and I spent most of my time, uh, other than training to be a flight surgeon, I spent the rest of my time being a flight surgeon in the U.S. Navy, and that was a very fun experience with a lot of uh, opportunity to travel during those four years. Um, after that, I did do a residency in psychiatry, uh, and I've really concentrated in addiction psychiatry uh, through my career. There have been many times when I've had the opportunity to provide uh, detoxification from alcohol and drugs, and um, I've uh, had developed uh, a 15-day clonopin taper that uh, I have used over the years. And I really do think that this 15-day clonopin taper allows uh, the brain to detox off of alcohol and drugs with hopefully minimizing cell injury and cell death. Um, many times people have very difficult withdrawals and in my clin clin clinical experience I have seen that uh, clonopin works better than many other drugs that are used for detox, especially with things like withdrawing from Xanax and withdrawing from uh, a delirium-induced uh, withdrawal. Um, so I would really like to have the public uh, have an understanding of this experience that I've had and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy uh, learning about my opinion about how to detox in, a, in an effective way. So. I think it's very important that people understand that minimizing cell injury and cell death is critical for brain health and that um, there's actually a theory about uh, uh, causes of diseases in mental health like depression, psychosis and addiction in which um, uh, maximizing cell growth and minimizing cell death uh, which, which is uh, for promoting cell growth, the term is called neurogenesis. And I believe this theory about causes of mental health is more accurate than the chemical Im imbalance theory that m most people are aware of. Um, and the research with brain imaging and with research being done about the neurobiology of an addicted brain, the neurogenesis theory seems to be more valid than the chemical imbalance or monomine theory of depression, psychosis, and addiction. Um, it's also important that uh, there are many things that people can do besides taking medication that can help them with these uh, diseases. Um, Im important things that they can do are uh, have good nutrition, uh, good exercise, and especially good sleep. And people who have problems with addictions and their families are very much aware that uh, people uh, with addiction struggle with anxiety and the ability to sleep. And that I believe there needs to be more targeted treatments towards improving the anxiety and the sleep. And this will relieve a lot of the chronic stress that occurs from the changes in the brain that occur uh, from addiction. Um, and it's my hope that this book will provide knowledge to people about how important uh, minimizing cell death and promoting cell growth is to their health. <laughs>